family. I am so excited to do this chop competition. Um, I'm more excited to see what everybody else comes up with. Bacon is in a recipe, it's gonna be awesome. It's always a great thing. I think what we have planned is gonna be good. I'm a little scared to see how mine comes up. <laughs> Cooking with Tanya is definitely gonna be a strength here. I don't know what I'm doing, and Tanya is the best cook that I know. She fills me up every night with delicious food, so. She helps me figure out what we can make, if I don't have any idea, and he makes it so much fun, and keeps me laughing in the kitchen, and... She's uh, the salt to my pepper. I just love it. I want to cook every meal. So if you love Mexican food, you're gonna love what we're making tonight. We're gonna deep fry flour tortillas stuffed with barbecued corn, fried bacon, chopped cilantro, chopped onion, and to top it all off and to dip it in is gonna be a chocolate mole sauce, which happens to include a little bit of flour. You're gonna love it. Stick in to find out how we cook it. It's coming your way. <laughs> I'm gonna start first by frying up the bacon. It's my favorite part. I love doing it. I love bacon. I gotta be around it. So uh, we're gonna use here, I'll turn the screen around if I can. I don't know if it does. Uh, we're gonna use this here. Little flat iron skillet. Cook the bacon on. And uh, right next to me here, uh, Tanya, when she does come back, is going to be chopping up the cilantro and the onion while I barbecue the corn. Show you how I do that here in a second. Bye well, the bacon's cooking on the skillet. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the grill. It's all fired up. It's been preheating for about four or five minutes now. And then uh, we'll check back on the bacon. Once this is done, we can chop uh, the corn, cilantro, onion together, and uh, start putting together our deep fried, I don't even know what you want to call them. What would you call them? Chimichanga. Chimichanga, uh, taquitos, mamamitos. All right, bacon's been on one side for about four minutes. It's about 325, 340 degrees. Um, I'm gonna get out tongs and a fork, maybe help you get it flipped over if you need. Okay, just flip those guys over there. And just flip them back over if you need to get them nice and crispy. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes altogether. The bacon on this side is obviously done. You can see that. I had added some fresh strips on that I'm going to flip here once these get off. Um, but you want to drain it on a paper towel on a plate. Um, that helps get rid of the oil and the grease and it will crisp up your bacon even better. Okay, so you want to get all those off before they burn. Just right at that point before things get too smoky. And then go ahead and made some room for these puppies to uh, fry up and get a nice crisp on them. Okay, but we have what we need here. This is a whole pack. We can use this to get started with the chopping of the onion and the cilantro. So we both decided we can't cut onions and we're putting it in the food processor. Here we go. Step one. Insert onion into the food processor. <laughs> there we go. All right. Put the lid on securely. Good to me. All right, now we're going to mix that in. Okay, so we're at the rolling phase now. Uh, everything's chopped up, uh, put in the bowl. We made a few little impromptu changes to our recipe here. 
And there's a little bit of it right there. (laughs) (laughs) But we added some sour cream to the mixture and some shredded mozzarella at this point. Tanya's over here rolling it up. Let me show you. There are taquito burritos. That's a little much, maybe. Let's see. You want it nice and flat, and then roll it in. There we are. So the last thing we have to do is make that mole sauce. And uh, Tanya went up to put the baby to sleep. Thinking about doing this myself. We'll see, I'm gonna bring you along for the journey, okay? Um, We'll see how it turns out. So far, the deep fried taquitos, enchiladas, burritos, whatever you wanna call them, are looking good. Can't wait to put this chocolate mole sauce on top of it. It's time for the best part. Finally, we're gonna put the special main ingredient in, uh, chocolate to the mole sauce. There it is over there. And we're gonna put it in, whisk it in. Sauce will be ready, I'll plate everything up, and we're gonna try it.